Welcome YouTube, this is the Prussian Prince, and I bring you an interview with Johan Blockley. Hello. 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 To uh, start things off, uh, can you tell us more about yourself? Uh, I am a Scottish game developer who has been developing games since the age of 12, and I am 16 years old. Oh, that is... Uh, it's fairly interesting, so you're quite a young uh, developer. Um, um, indeed. Yeah. Uh, what is your role in the development of Blitzer Online? Uh, my development, I am the head developer and the main programmer. So I'm the one that does most of the kind of the coding and stuff, and uh, and the uh, like, pretty much the hard stuff, the really hard and hard and gritty stuff that's done by myself. All right. That that sounds amazing. Be able to do that at uh, your age. So you've been doing that for. I mean, how exactly does the development part work? Do you use your own engine, or like do you use whatever engine? Um, I use parts of like code that I have like kind of scrapped together, and parts of code that I have done myself. So, and I have coded for this this game for so long that the engine is pretty much mine. <laughs> That's how long it's right. been. It's now, how large is the development team, and what roles have been fulfilled in the team? For example, do you have uh, someone dealing with the graphic design of the game specifically, or do you do everything by yourself? Like you said, you're the have developer, but like so, probably there are other people as well working on the yeah the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, we've got myself, obviously, as the head developer. Uh, I've got another, another guy called Max McFarlane. He's the business manager. He deals with the kind of the monetary sides and the kind of the insights and like the interest and all that. He deals with all that. Then we've got Callum Bell. He's another developer. He helps me with uh, with pretty much with developing, adding like items and kind of balancing like what items are overpowered and stuff. He's he nerfs stuff. Uh, then you've got Lewis. Who's uh, who's the advertisement manager and the community manager? So uh, if anyone plays the game here, you'll be speaking to Lewis a lot. You'll be seeing him about a lot. And we have another guy called Gary, and he's our systems administrator, and he deals with the kind of servers and stuff. And that's it. That's how big our development team is. As far as graphics are concerned, the graphics that we use uh, in our trailers and in the game had been bought uh, by. Uh, bought by a company called Enterbrain, and and like we've got our own little custom stuff that's been done by the community and people which we, we speak to, but we don't have a designated graphics artist. Would like to say put out we add there that we are looking for one. <laughs> so if anyone out there is interested, uh, go on a Facebook or comment or something. I'll I'll be sure to see it. Okay. So is the music? Uh Copyrighted? Like, is it? Have you bought the music, or is it something that you yes, guys? Yes, have... yes, the music's been purchased as well. So right. everything's bought and legal. <laughs> All right. Now, as for the storyline, can you tell us something about it? Can I keep it all under the hood at the moment? But pretty much, uh, there's it's like you're obviously it's based around yourself, and there are tribals, and there are civilized people, and they hate each other. They hate each other's guts. Uh, because one's kind of civilized and one's more kind of rural and kind of you know jungle. They live in the jungle and stuff, and they're coming out uh, and they're fighting with the civilized people. But what's happened is something has happened to us to a port that the tribals and the civilized people use. They use this kind of port to trade with each other, even though there's a kind of war going on. They find peace with trading, and pretty much it's been attacked. And they have to come together to fight. This enemy, and I'm not going to give it else away because well, it's actually kind of so still under the hood at the moment. <laughs> All right. So, will there be any side quests? Yes, a lot of side quests. We've got at the moment uh, about 25 to 30 plans, I think. Uh, but there'll be they won't be like kill this, kill that. It'll be like you know uh, this pretty much like a murder mystery. We've got one for like a a, a dog, a dog searching for a. Uh, a dog is is pretty much killed, a cat, and you have to find out who it is, and the owner's really annoyed and that. So it's, it's kind of fun, fun side quests. So yeah, so we do have side quests, yes, and a lot of them planned. Can you share us? 
can you share with us some information about the party system and its mechanics? Well, there's two systems. Uh, there's the, the party system, which is kind of you kind of meet up with your friends and you kind of you invite each other and you share the XP. And that's like you share XP depending on how many people. So if there's two people, you'll half it. If there's four people, you'll quarter it. If there's three people, you know, you've heard that that's kind of basic math. But there's also a guild system which allows up to 50 people and it's just like a bigger party. But you have to, you have to pay coins for it, like, like the in-game currency. You have to pay for it. So. Uh, so and that's it. But the, the way that's just the way it works, pretty much. And you get to see like your friends' healths and your spirit. So it, if you're fighting a, do a boss, you get to keep up to date how like, how the, how's their health doing and stuff. Which is kind of important when you're fighting bosses. I've, I've realised that when playing other games. So does that mean that there will be some sort of guild wars, clan wars, or uh, all under the hood at the moment? But I can promise you that yes, there will be a PvP of that type. Yes. <laughs> Right, so regarding the trade system, how will it work exactly? Uh, well, the trade system is pretty much the same as any other game. You, When you trade an item, uh, it pretty shows you two windows, what you're offering and what uh, the person you're trading with is offering, and how much theirs is worth, and how much like how much they've put up and how much that's worth, how much you put up and how much that is worth. So you know whether you're getting scammed. So for newbies, they'll say, well, hang on a second, this is, he's only giving me 10 gold and it's worth 400 and that was sticking out to stop that. So, and that's it, at the trade. it's just pretty basic, pretty much. So now we're getting to the interesting part, that is, <laughs> what is unique to Pizza Online compared to other games of the same genre? I get asked this a lot actually, and it's a really difficult question, but it's something that we actually kind of pulled, you know, but what we really love about Plaza and what we don't see a lot of games doing at the moment is it's really hard to kind of kind of speak to the developers that this is getting on to do with the game, but this is to do with us as a team. And we we are really kind of open. We're open to suggestions. If someone says this is this is bad, it's bad for this reason, and someone else says it, we think right, well the community don't like it, we'll get rid of it, or we'll change it. And that's what's good about us as a development team, as far as Plies is concerned. So you can kind of trust us with the game, but as far as what is unique, there is not an awful lot of 2D MORPGs out there. It's not it's not a genre that's actually been used quite a lot, but apart from that, it's got humour in it, which we love. We love having humour, so like items that make you like dance, you know, stuff like that, like bosses, you know, Santa Claus, like we've got an Easter event planned in which you're playing whack a mole with, you know, with uh, with bunnies. So it's kinda it's uh, it's uh, I can't promise you there's no gore in that, but it's uh, and that's what it's kind of it's about. It's kind of mixing humor with with a genre that's actually not used so much. With amazing graphics, like for a two D game, it, it does. It looks very nice. With a community that I hope will be really good. With a, a development team that's open and kind of can speak to other people. And that's that's why I think it's kind of unique. Sounds like uh, good stuff. So let's move on to the combat system. How does it work? The combat system is, it's not turn based, it's real time, so it's not like, uh, I'm trying to think of a game, Final Fantasy or anything, it's not like that, it's, uh, it's proper, it's pretty much you attack them, they attack you, but it's kind of real time and it's quite quick, you can also add things like abilities similar to WoW, but it's better than that, like the way you see them bleed and stuff, the animations we've added into it, but it's got a kind of similar combat system to WoW, just in pretty much in a 2D environment, but it's a lot better, a lot better. We, we, we love it, but it's still, again, that's the thing that's probably most uh, under development, sorry, is the combat system, because that's what we've been getting quite a lot of criticism for, so we're actually fixing it up at the moment. So, will there be any quick slots for skills in the game that you can access quickly? Pardon the pun. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a... There'll be, there's, a, there's a skills menu, and it shows you all your skills, but there's also a bar at the top, uh, instead of like a bar at the bottom that WoW has it with the XP and stuff, it's like at the bar at the top right hand corner and you get, which I think, 9, you get 11 slots which can put spells, you can put items in, so if you like, if you want to eat pretty much in a battle and you like, you don't have to get in the event and double click on food, instead of that you can put it up and you can press 2, and the, the slots are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, uh, dash, and then equals, so that's what it is, which is, which is brilliant, we can like, Insert things to it and healing, and we're working on like hotkeys and stuff. That's kind of that's the, when it gets trickier. But yes, there is for skills. Yes, there is. Besides that, 
How does the interface look like? That's again under heavy development, but there's uh, there's currently six buttons. There will be more for like guilds and stuff when we finally work on that. But there's the inventory, the inventory, the skills which I was talking about, party options menu, uh, and trade, and that's it. That's pretty much that's the six buttons. But there's also like the the bars at the top left hand corner with your health, your spirit, and your XP. And then there's a box at the bottom which is your chat and. I know people will be thinking, surely if you're pressing numbers, surely you'll be typing that into chat as well. We added the system so that you press enter to open up your chat, rather than you're pressing numbers and it's coming up in the chat box, which would be very annoying. We'll fix that so it's not like that at all anymore. Instead, it's you press enter to open chat, you can't move, you type stuff in, you press enter again. So right. that's how it's good. Uh, what options will you have in the character creation? And Will you be able to create multiple characters, or will it just be stuck to one character? At the moment, it's stuck to one character, uh, but uh, there will be three characters you'll be able to play. Uh, and as far as character creation goes, you get three classes. You get the warrior. Or, well, it's kind of we're working on like paladin or something. We're working on like two cool classes, but we've got warrior, pretty much warrior, magician, and the third one we're not telling you about. It's not a rogue class. When people should say it's kind of more kind of engineer, kind of kind of kind of staying back, and but not fixing stuff. Maybe maybe robots, maybe types of pets. We're working on that. That that would be pretty cool to see, and that's another unique feature actually, which I've not seen being used. So there we go. So you'll have to kind of wait and see. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is there a leveling system in the game, and if so, how easy it is to get to max level if there is a level limit? <laughs> Um, the, it will, uh, there is a max level, uh, max level is 100, kind of default there, but we're um, planning on what we're doing is we're putting it at 20, and then when people get to 20, when enough people get to 20 and have finished the content, we'll move it up to 30 immediately, and 40, and 50, until, and so we know people are moving on and moving on, and then new people are coming and seeing the content, So because we don't want everyone running at the content at different stations, we want to be able to monitor certain bits at a time. So we're keeping it at 20, and, and believe me, level 20 will take you quite a long time. And, and like, you know, and we don't expect you to grind either, so it's kind of, we, we hate grinding. I hate games that grind, so I'm making sure that aspect is not in it. So it's pretty much you just need to devote your time to it instead of doing the same repetitive task. But yes, there is a leveling system, there's XP. When you get, when you level up, I uh, just want to put this wee note in here, when you level up you get points which you can then devote to certain skills strength, endurance, intelligence, agility and willpower and they all kind of do kind of standard things but then they branch out into other skills involving weapons and stuff and it actually gets quite complicated <laughs> I'm actually getting quite confused on my own systems at the moment so because uh, I'm, I'm not the best with that but yes, yeah, so there is and the level limit is 100 but the level limit will increase Alright, so Back to the skill system, will there be any buffs or are you planning on not making any buffs into the game? Buffs? Uh, yeah, as far as healing, there's poison, we're kind of working on things like that. I know there's like gradual fire damage for certain spells, I believe, but it was kind of, it was all, it was all kind of under the hood. Buffs will not be there on the initial launch, but if there's a huge outcry for them, then we will add them. So we're getting near the end of the interview, so I'm going to be asking about how the actual, how much the actual game is going to cost, and if there will be, will there be pre-order bonuses and expansions in the future? Uh, the game, the game will be very cheap. I don't know how like how to convert currencies or currencies or something, but from where I'm from, uh, it will cost about the range of about one pound to about two pounds. So very cheap, like very cheap. It won't, and there will be expansions, but they'll all be given for free. So all the hard work that we put in with expansions and stuff. Once you buy the game, you buy it once. That's our guarantee. When you buy it once, you buy it forever. As far as other things, as what platforms you can be seeing on, it will be on PC. It'll be a PC exclusive. But um, other platforms like Steam and stuff, we we don't know. But I, I can't give anything away at the moment. Let's just say you will be seeing something about it in the future and it won't be directly related to us. That's all I can say. Pretty secretive. <laughs> um, last but not least, when should we expect to see 
Plitza Online to come out and how will we if like someone would like to support you more than just buying the game how, how will they yeah. be able to do that uh, so uh, yeah last but not least the game uh, we are currently doing a stability test on the 9th of December to test our servers and that that's the kind of if you guys really want to get a scratch at the game honestly that would be the time to turn out uh, we're, we're expecting a reasonable number of people but if any of you guys could turn out that'd be amazing and the other thing is uh, the gate, we're kind of expecting like a February March 2013 launch and if you want to support us as developers which all of us would be incredibly happy about you could like our Facebook page at facebook uh, facebook.com slash plaza online and our YouTube which I'll probably comment sometimes you see me comment and people are asking questions in the comments yeah, I'll just uh, put the links to the Facebook and your yeah. YouTube or in yeah. the description of the video. Well, okay. thank you for being here with me today. And yeah. I wish you and the rest of the Plitza online team good luck with the project. And of course, thank you viewers for staying with us. See you next time. Bye.